Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen where I intend to see what kind of performance my new computer can get with it. I upgraded from an i7-4790K with 32GB of DDR3 RAM and an RTX 2070 and I now have an i5-12600K with 32GB of DDR4 RAM and still the RTX 2070 because graphics cards are impossible to get these days. So I just carried that over, thankfully. And so basically it's a CPU upgrade, though the motherboard is a little bit better and the slot that the graphics card is in is a little bit better. So maybe there'll be something there, but also the RAM is better. And this does take up a fair amount of memory, generally speaking. I've already started it up once. And so we have loaded in the scenery. It did not take very long. It was definitely much better, but I'll show you how it is this time and you can compare it with previous videos. One thing I did notice, I was intending to use the face over IP thing because I have a webcam. I was gonna use the face over IP thing because to control uh, head movements and everything, but it uses a lot of CPU apparently. And we're gonna take a look. Basically my CPU was maxed out with that on. And we'll see what the difference is uh, firing up now because I've turned it off now. And so it might not be worth it. That seems to be quite an intense thing. Uh, what I noticed was just in the menu, when I turned it on, it used uh, about 60% of my CPU. And when I turn it off, it's down to 20%, the game, the game process. So yeah, that is interesting. So I picked Lorville as my starting location. I customized my character. Um, I decided for this look, uh, interestingly, uh, uh, I wanted some sort of Indian look and there is no texture for the male that is equivalent to this. Uh, so I hope they add one. That's just a minor note. Basically, the thing is that when you create a character, uh, you can mix and match and you can probably get whatever facial features you would like. Uh, but there is one caveat and the caveat is that when you uh, do begin blending. Uh, you can blend all bunch of stuff in and create your character, right? All the features. But you can only apply the skin directly. You can't blend the skin, which is irritating uh, considering, unlike the female character, uh, the male characters don't have a nice mid-tone. So we will proceed. Now this is on the M2 SSD. That also has my operating system. It's the only game that I put on there. Uh, so the loading times are as fast as they're gonna get. All right. And let's pop out. Again, this should be all sort of loaded into stuff already. So we'll have to go from scratch here, but we'll go to a different location where I have not been at least since it's all in the game, because this is a fresh install. And we'll see how that goes. Well, this is not all there, is it? Um, <laughs> need, yeah, okay, now it's got the door. All right, well, this is still Star Citizen. So yeah, now it's using, uh, altogether I've got 84% CPU usage, and the game itself is using 67%. It was maxing out the CPU with the face over IP active. And it wasn't actually doing anything. The face over IP was actually not working. It wasn't tracking the head at all. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. It, it should like my webcam, but I don't know. It wasn't, uh, they weren't communicating properly. Let me put it that way. So, yeah, that created an overhead of about 18% of the CPU. The fact that it was totally maxing out the CPU constantly, well, I don't know. Now we're at, uh, now it's coming close to maxing out the CPU here, but this is usually the most intense scene. In previous videos, you'll have noted that I pointed this out as a especially choppy scene, but here it's at least very nice and smooth now. So there has been an improvement with my new system. So flying things and, uh, of course it's nighttime, so we can't really appreciate the city panorama. It's still pretty intense. I don't know if it's giving me much benefit for all that CPU usage. I mean, I think it's fairly well acknowledged that the game isn't optimized at this point. So, we Welcome just need to, to figure out how bad the situation is. 
As far as memory is concerned, it's using about 13 gigabytes. But yeah, obviously it's performing better overall. I might need some way to limit the frame rate. For recording purposes, there's no point in me recording at beyond... I only record at 30 frames per second, so you guys wouldn't be able to enjoy it, even if I did uh, play at higher than 30 frames per second. One nice thing is now, with the threads on this new CPU, the game and the recording software, OBS, do not interfer interfere with each other. On the old CPU, they did. So, now they seem to be playing nice with each other. So that's good. Well, again, we're not going to be able to appreciate the city in the dark here. But certainly there's no choppiness. Okay, exit. Oh, let's see my character. Okay, free look. Okay, the correct look was loaded in. Okay, vehicle retrieval. I sort of left my uh, Avenger Titan hanging, so it'll take a little bit of time to get it. Okay, well, file claim. All right, hangar nine. There are random NPCs standing around, but none standing on chairs. In fact, they are very decisively not standing on chairs. Well, nothing's going to speed up the elevators or the trains or anything like that. Nope, oh, oh, it skewered me. Okay, well, I guess we're... There we go. Well, flight ready. Okay, up, up, going up. Will, he be, will this be the smoothest I've ever launched from Lorville? It's possible. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, the throttle was reversed. Gosh darn it. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Everest Harbor Hurston. Well, I guess that's a way to get here. <laughs> Party disbanded. Yes. So yeah, I haven't figured out how to reverse the throttle to where it's supposed to be. I tried it uh, when I was testing things. But, so it's obviously inversion and the throttle settings. The, the thing is, th there's no throttle here. And I tried various things with the velocity limiter and the acceleration limiter. Maybe straight forward and backwards will count as the throttle. Okay, but we have to get to a ship in order to find out. Okay. So, I... I need my stuff. <laughs> how did... How was I supposed to get my stuff again? Well, I have a medical gown. Okay, I just need to put stuff on, I suppose. Okay, I can. Alright. Okay, well, anyway. I seem to be suited up.
All right. Let's try flying again. We'll have to be more careful. Out we go. Oh, that was a cheap and easy way to get to a new location to check it out. And yeah, things rendered quite quickly here. Even though I had not been here before. And this time, uh, because of the nature of this launch pad, we're not going to accidentally bump into anything, even if my throttle is off. Do I even need, even need clearance? I don't know. I guess I'll ask. You are clear to launch. Okay. Okay, which way is which? I'm gonna need a reference here. Oh, that pole is there. Thank you. And please visit okay, I think the throttle is sorted out. I think it was the... It's been a while since I had to do this, so it wasn't obvious to me. I think it was the flight straight forward and backward that ended up being the throttle setting. Okay, where do we want to go? We're just cruising for now. Not trying to... Let's go to Microtech. Not gonna try and take any jobs this time. S assessing performance in interesting locations. Right now, it's using 66% of my CPU, about 15 gigabytes of RAM. A little bit choppy on initiating quantum travel there. Yeah, even though there's the most banal scene of them all, it is very choppy getting into quantum travel right there. Still uses about as much CPU, even though, like, nothing's happening. <laughs> hmm. There's no exterior scene worth anything. It's a little bit less, it's like 58%. And I see quantum travel, I mean, of course, that won't matter, regardless of your system, it's still gonna take forever. Yes, from uh, can it play Crisis to can it play Star Citizen. At one point Star Citizen was on CryEngine, right? It's, it's practically the same situation. Well, here we are in the midst of a quantum jump. My poor gun is uh, sticking out there, isn't it? Chip texture looks quite frosty. I guess that's some sort of thermal protection on the wings. But hexagonal thermal protection. Very shuttly. Okay, finally we are arriving at Microtech here. We'll see how the exit out of Quantum Jump looks. And plop. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. Let's see. This will zoom here. Got some moons. Calliope. Oh, oh, oh no. Port something. Oh, new Babbage. Yeah, let's do new Babbage. Ah. 
Okay, just 900 kilometers, but we'll still quantum it. Okay. Well, let's cruise. Oh, well, it's a little bit choppy as it loads, but okay. There's this red things. Let's hope they're friendly red things. Contact ATC. I guess I might as well contact them. Okay, we'll find that in a little while. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of indicators around. I think we got rain. Obstructed. Well, I think we can cruise around here without getting killed, right? Uh oh, I can't turn. Uh. 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 Okay, I can I can turn like this. I just can't yaw. It's more like plane controls right now. These buildings. So I guess it is atmosphere here. Alright, well. I guess we should try and get to the spaceport. I'm surprised we could communicate with the spaceport so far away. Usually it's much more restrictive. That's the spaceport in front there, I'm pretty sure. How long did they let us cruise around before they revoke our landing privileges? Oh, that's a tower right there. Let's avoid that. how it looks from outside. Not bad. Okay, where is the landing location that I asked for anyway? Well, there's definitely bays around here. Oh, I guess outside a restricted area, the yaw operates fine. That's interesting. Okay, did you... We still have landing privileges somewhere? Okay. Is that visible somewhere? Oh, there's a little arrow there. Oh. Ah, okay. Here we are. Okay, gear down. Landing 
you're not gonna collide. Uh, you're not gonna make this easy though. Okay, we've landed. We've landed. Power off. Systems offline. They go far enough in front. Seems that way. Okay, well, we've made our first flight here. Can I relocate to New Babbage somehow? Yep, everything is smooth as silk. Uh, using quite a lot of resources, but smooth as silk. With other systems, your mileage will vary. <laughs> Commons. Be a Tobin Expo Center. Let, let's... Let's go to the commons via Tobin Expo Center. I don't know why it's the commons via the Expo Center. Isn't the common the commons are sort of first to be the Expo Center Center via the commons? We're sorry. You have seen it out of time to depart. Oh, I wasn't trying to depart. I had just landed. Sensible. At least it's daylight around here. So we can appreciate the view. Procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Okay, the tube. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Out we go. Everything looking smooth here. Hey, I thought they had stored my ship. It still says it's there. Only 15 kilometers, huh? Very purple. Elroy's. New Babbage Plaza. Fancy. MT Planetary Surfaces Omega Pro. Mm. Where where are we going anyway? Promenade. Oh, I have not been here before. Okay. With all these credits, 125,000, I should be able to get some new clothes though, right? Think about that. Oh, this, this promenade continued here. Whammers. Okay. I was just trying to find a hotel, actually. Oasis, huh? I don't know what this is for, but okay. This seems like a holodeck. Waste bins? Ice sculpture? I don't know what that's supposed to be, though. Ice thing. The cove. It 
looks exactly like the Oasis. I don't know what the difference is. Apparelli and Oza. Well, clothes. Oh, fancy. That looks very sci-fi sort of thing. Which one is it though? Ventra gloves. Concept shirt. You mean the shirt is? This looks like a. I guess the the whole thing is a shirt, right? I mean. Um, here, let's see if this works. Try on. Oh. I can't. Okay, rotate. Well, it's. I, I'm not rotating. Uh, I'm moving the mouse like it said. Uh oh. Any key that will work? No, pressing E gets me back in here. Hmm. That's pretty cheap though. The fact that it's called Concept Shirt Green when it's clearly purple worries me. <laughs> I'm, I'm going for the purple, not the green here. This one's. It says black. Oh, I, I guess the, the shirt is the underneath. Even that shirt looks black then. These are fancy. I don't like the puff sleeves though. What's up with that? Hmm. Okay, can I buy things from you? No. Actually, your suit doesn't look bad. I would totally go for that suit if I could buy that. Got yeah, 125,000. I should get some good threads. I'll take a risk. I'm, I'm gonna wager that it's actually gonna be purple. It says green. Alright, let's see. That off. Where's all my other inventory? Okay, that's not green. Well, I guess it, it might be a shade of green. That actually is more like what I wanted, but... How do we get rid of the hat, though? How do I get my hair back? No, oh, those look, look... Animated. They're animated clothing. That's... Could be nice. Okay, I need the rest of this outfit somehow. Not the green shirt. Not the gloves. Jacket! Yes. 4,000! <sighs> Can we uh, get black pants? Just gotta buy it. Give me, give me the black pants. Okay, so we can sort of get the outfit that that woman was wearing at the desk. Uh-oh. My inventory... That's not good. Okay, right. Where is the rest of my inventory, though? Okay, we've got pants. I don't want the little... Snoopy hat. I had other things. I don't know where those other things are. I'm, I guess they must have been left. At, uh, at where we woke up, somehow. Okay, somebody's gonna need to tell me how to get rid of this little cap that I have here for flight. I want my hair. Um, I want black shoes. Well, those will have to do. Oh, that's cheap. Okay, so where's, where's all my other stuff? Because I, I, I definitely had a flight suit and everything. Oh, there we go. Ah, other things too. I can get that off. I'm gonna actually look up the internet to see if there's anything about that. Kill yourself while wearing civilian clothes, clothes and you get your hair back. That's what they suggest, but that's from four years ago. But to be fair, not much has changed in four years, so um well let me see if there's some other solution, but that that might be it. 
Well, I'll just go back to a spaceport. Uh, can we run for it? Come on. Okay, we are on. I definitely feel like the elevator is actually going through me when I call it. Okay, so we can be shirt sleeves in these hangars. Uh, hmm. I wonder if we open the door. Probably there's this atmosphere outside, so probably it's not gonna kill me here. No, it might not kill me at all. Not on this planet. Okay, open, open, open. Got a little teddy bear. So actually, let me just land in this clearing here. Put the gear back down. Got trees. Well, there must be air out there, I guess. We have landed. Let's take a walk outside, I suppose. Corpse. There's a corpse out there somewhere. Okay. Oh, well, uh, it looks like it's really cold. Survival estimate 7 minutes and 6... Eight, seven, six, five. Oh, it must have been seven minutes and nine seconds before. Okay, so it's too cold for me apparently to be walking around like this. Uh, I wish the camera was. That is a messed up way of running. Let me not focus on that messed up way of. Oh gosh. Well, considering the game's specialty isn't exactly trees, it's not a bad tree. Cue Skyrim music. <laughs> I know there are other ways of ensuring I perish, but this seemed like a reasonably interesting way to go. Snow is sort of kicking up rather than coming down, isn't it? Do I leave footprints? I do! Boy, my pace is really wide though. You can track me. Oh, uh, it depends on how fast I'm moving though. Well, I even yeah, it's a serious print there. It's even got the detail of the bottom of the shoe. Nope, oh, my health is sort of dropping. I guess I'm at ninety nine percent. My breathing is sort of indicating that I'm cold. Everything is sort of getting a little bit foggier in my view. And the sound is also affected. Can okay, walk across the water or ice. It'd be funny if I uh, had a crack and fall in. I mean, I wouldn't put it past them. That's the sort of reason why it takes forever to develop this game. <laughs> uh, details. I feel like it undersold my survival time here. Oh, dead tree. Heart rate's going up. Uh, oh, I died. Oh, time until death, time until rescue. Hold backspace. Uh, I'll just let myself get rescued. 
I want to voluntarily that. Why are all those little boxes at the bottom of Time Until Rescue anyway? It seems like something went wrong there. Corpse. Brentworth Care Center. This is not my normal care center. <laughs> okay, the question is, do I have hair? Do I have my clothes? So many questions. The gown. Doesn't work pretty well. Okay, inventory. Whoa. Ah, I've still got pants. Okay, well, fine. Off. Come on. No, I still got the cap though. Dying did not. Restore my hair. Gosh darn it. Can't quite get my hair back. But this has been ex an exploration of Star Citizen in the new version and with the new computer. Seems nice and smooth now, so I guess these are the requirements, basically, if you want to play it smoothly. So, I mean, probably with some uh, somewhat less requirements will suffice because I am recording at the same time here. But yeah. So, I'll see about maybe taking up some jobs in the future and see how that goes, but I'm pretty bad at combat in this game. So we'll have to see how I might brush up on that. Perhaps watch some other YouTube videos to figure out how to do that properly. That is nice here. See, I want, I want here. Anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.